hi guys and welcome back to my channel I am um, first of all I want to say thank you so much for the love on the wedding video oh my goodness like I never expected it I never expected so much love from you guys and yeah I'm so excited to be back with a new chit chat let's talk video and today I just want to go through a little bit of my breastfeeding journey I know sorry if this is not your type of thing don't worry just Go on my playlist, find a video that the bank has done that really sits close to your heart and watch that instead again if you've already watched all my videos. So when it comes to breastfeeding, oh, I never thought that it would be the type of experience it's been for me. Now basically what I mean is I just always seen these women in videos and movies and adverts looking as if it just was the easiest thing in the whole wild world i just thought my baby was gonna arrive and latch straight away and i was gonna have this amazing bond straight away and we was gonna fall in love with each other me and my baby breastfeeding here left right and center but it wasn't when i say it wasn't i mean we didn't latch for five days of five days guys this is me being a new mom just pushed through a baby my body is a mess my brain is a mess postpartum is about to kick in if i'm not careful um you get like that three days kind of feeling where it's like okay your body's now finally registered that there's no more bump there's no more baby inside of me the baby's out and yeah it took us quite a while we was hospitalized for the first six days of Mattel's life due to um, having an infection so we were both on antibiotics and we was in a ward like with I think other five or six babies guys well I'm gonna say girl that was not easy at all so I feel that I think that it was mainly also because of lack of sleep so the lack of sleep in the first few days was a lot because even though Matteo and I can vouch that he was like a really pretty straightforward baby you know waking up every two to three hours and you can hear him right now but thank goodness that his daddy is on lunch duty um, he was pretty much sleeping regularly but the other kids in that world hmm, they really really came for me so yeah it was the fact that we couldn't get the like the position right we couldn't get the latch right i was frustrated baby was frustrated because the baby was hungry and then the nest would be like oh girl you're not doing it right da, da, da. and then they would seem to be able to do the latch but it would still be very very painful and i nearly i'm gonna say that i nearly gave up i know i don't like to use this kind of words but i really did i think i was at this stage where i was like is it time for me to give up in between feeding which was quite painful i also cup fed and we bottle fed we was like no i need to make sure i try and give this baby my milk my to be honest when it came to supply my baby i can literally hear my baby you guys are gonna have this realness around my videos because listen i have a one-year-old so and i like him to do what he wants to do if he wants to play he wants to run around so you might hear him in the background but guys if especially if you're a mommy you'll understand but yeah so i made sure that he had my milk that was my main goal and i i'm so glad that we was able to push through since you keep hearing him in the background i thought it would be nice for him to quickly come and say hi he probably wants breast milk but <laughs> wow talk about the topic mister's come for his uh, fix um yeah <laughs> so yeah let's carry on this is what motherhood is about so believe it or not on the sixth day uh, when we was literally about to be discharged I was like I'm gonna try one more time while the nurses are around me and they can help me out one more time and then we just latched it was like he knew that was at my breaking point and he knew that it was time for us to connect properly so I'm really, really, really blessed, really grateful that that happened. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to push through when I got at home. So that was one thing. Supply-wise, it's been alright. It's been good. I've literally put it on Instagram, like, probably yesterday or the day before, that, guys, my supply is dropped, yeah? But bear in mind, Mattel is 12, well, 13 months. So now it's like that we're at the stage where it's like, do we stop? Do we continue? Um, with lockdown and everything because I'm not going anywhere it's not really I'm not really I don't really feel pressured basically guys I don't feel pressured to stop because we're at home and even his milk is safer for me to give him the milk that I've got rather than me to go in the shop 
people that are not even social distancing anyway and then you know so we've been literally enjoying extra time breastfeeding because i was like i'll do it to six months and then it was like six months came okay i'll do it to eight months eight months came and i thought let me try one more month and now we're all we're cross we've crossed the one year line and i'm like okay okay now bro um what do you want to do when do you want to finish let me know in sense of how i kept my supply supply up at the beginning i mainly 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 um fed on demand so i fed on demand and then you know you've got your oat your fennel seeds um flax seeds were really good people also i did a questionnaire and people suggested um apple juice uh what else i'll just put them here or something so you can see some of the suggestions i got on how to keep um your supply up and then yeah i just always tried and tried and make sure i had breakfast that was a big thing that everyone kept saying and i think now that it's dropped i realized that i'm kind of not taking enough enough calories so is the drinking the water is you having your your breakfast regularly and all of those things that i'm gonna try and implement now again even though i was trying to be naughty guys i was trying to be on a, some diet and i have to choose basically at the moment currently in my life i have to choose diet or diet or breastfeeding i'm at the point where it's like my son needs to eat so okay okay i'll give up i'll give up them calories diet for now for now I can say that overall I've really enjoyed um, this breastfeeding journey. I really, really have and I'm so grateful that I've been able to do it as I know it's not possible for every woman. Um, how would I describe it? I would say... Uh, it's, I think it's the bond. Like, bear in mind, I'm talking right now, yeah, and this guy's literally just staring at me like, Mommy, what are you doing? I don't know. It's just something about the bond that's created with me and my son that has made it so that we're really, really close. And I'm sure even moms that feed out different ways are close. I'm just saying about my relationship with my son that I feel like we're really close. I feel like even when he just plays around and he has a glance at me, most of the time, that says that by that I mean Kajo says that for him for for Mattel I'm just McDonald's basically I'm just fast food I am just like oh look at that that's my delicious happy meal I can have it when I want kind of relationship but no I know that my son really loves me <laughs> and I'm just waiting for him to say the big word which is mommy we're still waiting but you know what I've gone to I've gone past the stage of like looking for specific milestone at a specific time of course there's certain things you'd like to do you know when your baby crawls you'd like it when your baby starts walking stuff like this but the first word is definitely um what i'm waiting for and what i'm looking forward to the most um what's gonna happen to us when he stops i mean i at the moment I would like for it to be that I stop breastfeeding and he's happy to stop um, drinking milk. That would be my ideal scenario. And that way, at least no, none, of, none of us, well, none of us, I won't feel that guilty, basically. But I think, now I think I've set a mile, well, I've set a, a deadline for the next four months to see if I can stop. And then if not, guys, we're going to have to do the whole cold turkey. And I don't want to do that because this is a good baby. Do you understand? Like, he's actually a really good... Oh. <laughs> he's actually a really good baby. And so I wouldn't want him to suffer. Sorry, let me detach. I wouldn't want... <sighs> he's now going to have some lunch because breast milk was clearly a snack anyway. So be right back, guys. <laughs> I hope this gives you an insight roughly on how I felt about this whole like breastfeeding journey. I never thought I'd make it this far to be honest. But it's always good to share, you know, um, how how you feel to give you guys a little bit of an insight if maybe you're expecting or if maybe you're just wondering how it is on the other side. So thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna end the video here. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Welcome, welcome. If you're already with us, well, you're part of the family already. You're part of the family Benko. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any suggestions, as usual, as I always say, put them in the comments below. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.